Hey everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Bella Boulevard creative team. And today we, or not today, I should say, this week is my candy girl week and we are creating summer layouts using this adorable collection. So what I've done here is I've taken the Bella Boulevard sunshine cut file and I've taken it and cut it on some white textured cardstock. And now I'm trying to choose my background. Now I did like the the darker blue, which is the Hearts and Ombre in Blueberry, but I thought the ice color looked a little bit better since I did want to create a uh, kind of somewhat like a sky since I do have this sun cut file as like a main focal point on my layout. So what I've done here is I've got two Distress Oxide inks from my stash and I'm just going to quickly ink blend um, the ink or the colors onto my sun and I've just got my little brushes there and I've started with the Distress Oxide and Mustard Seed and then I'm going out with squeezed lemonade on the rays. Now I don't fully add the color to the rays, I kind of blend it out so that they do have white tips. Now I did take this heart, which is also part of the cut file, and I did ink blend on some Kitsch Flamingo, and it's just super cute. And you know what? I don't even think this heart made it onto the <laughs> to the final layout. I had it set aside, and then I completely forgot about it. So maybe I'll add that on to a different layout. All right, so now I'm just working on matting my photo. I've pulled all the 12 by 12 pattern papers from this collection and I'm going to quickly go through those and get um, my photo matted. And I am going to distress and rough up the edges with my little distress tool. I just wanted a little bit of color behind my photo. Um, now this is a photo of me and my son. We were running some errands uh, in a town not too far from ours and we picked up some boba from this boba restaurant or boba place that we've never been to and it was pretty good and of course we had to document it and he's just looking so cute um so yeah so my title I'm, I am using the Aria Alphas in punch and I'm spelling it out to spell boba licious and then I am going to add a subtitle using the Florence Alphas in golf um, and I'll do that here in just a second so yeah I was just going through the Florence Alphas that coordinate perfectly with this collection to choose which ones would go perfect. Now I did think about um, pink, but then I had so much pink in the um, in my actual title. So that's why I went with golf and just to pull a bit of that like aqua blue kind of color down at the bottom. So to help me out because I don't know how to put anything straight or anything on straight, I use my T-square ruler and then now I'm just going to get to embellishing. I did pull out this chipboard chow or this chow chip chipboard sticker uh, it's a border sticker and I've got it on the left side I thought that was different I usually would probably add it on the bottom but I thought it would be fun just to add it on the left just to add or to have whoever's looking at my page you know the eye your eyes go around the whole page it's just kind of bringing everything together um, I did layer up one of the doohickey cardstock stickers underneath. It's another border sticker that I just trimmed down. And then this little cute pig, I, I mean, it, she's adorable. So, um, and not like I'm calling ourselves pigs, but you know, we we're obviously eating a treat and uh, she's adorable. So I put her down and then I'm layering up some other chipboard stickers underneath. I've got some tangled thread going on the right side. I have a bunch of little soda bottles. Um, and then I have that really large ephemera piece that's like a jar, you know, with a straw and a donut and a lollipop sticking out. So just a lot of fun. It's a, it's a, uh, a layout about us treating ourselves and having something, you know, sweet and delicious on a super hot day. Cause it is hot now <laughs> down here in Louisiana. Uh, I think it's like 90 with like humidity and it feels like, I don't even know, 102. I don't even know. Um, but it's really hot. Um, I did add a heart hug down at the bottom with some yellow tangled thread just to bring some yellow down in that little cluster. I did pull out the trinket puppy stickers in ice and golf as well as the sugar coating um, puffy stickers from the My Candy Girl collection. And I'm just going to layer a few um, of those up, just adding extra color to my clusters and um, adding them on top of the chow chip stickers and underneath. And yeah, you know me, I love to layer. Uh, one of my favorite parts is towards the end of the video where you get to add the small details. Um, and I love adding the small details. So of course I'm adding a few of those puffy stickers to the left. And um, this is a very simple layout. It came together very fairly quickly. I did forget to mention I did add a white doodly border around my page. And um, 
I don't think I add too much. I am just going to make sure everything is adhered down with some glue just so everything sticks. You know how chipboard stickers, they just naturally fall down. Um, and then my little Bella Pop, since I had her kind of at an angle, I wanted to make sure that she was adhered and wasn't going to move anywhere. So I am going to finish it off with some white uh, acrylic paint splatters and that about does it. I hope you I've inspired you in some way today. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you have a wonderful week. And if you haven't picked out or picked up my candy, the man, my candy girl collection, you definitely should. It's a lot of fun and it would be perfect to document all of your summer memories. Thanks so much for uh, watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.